Uh, good morning. It's uh, Friday, August 5th. Uh, I want to say a word this morning in defense of market-based fisheries. We've seen some incredibly stupid ideas coming out of Congress, uh, mostly directed at uh, cat share fisheries. And the latest one is a move by Walter Jones and, and others to say that um, if the number of fishermen in a given fishery drop by 15 percent, uh, NOAA should terminate the cat share program. Uh, this is just plain stupidity. Uh, Congress should not be in the, in the field of uh, regulating how many workers uh, go into a particular U.S. industry or not. Uh, what so many of these people fail to recognize is that the role of the government in fisheries is to support market-based programs that allow the fisheries to prosper. Uh, our fisheries are developed by private capital, private resources, individual investors buying boats, building plants, buying equipment, and taking a risk uh, that they can uh, prosper by going out and catching fish. The job of the government is to provide a, a regulatory basis that allows these market forces and capitalist forces to work properly. There's nothing wrong, in fact, capitalism itself cannot survive without the proper regulation. Uh, we have all kinds of laws that enforce contracts, for example. Uh, in the fisheries, we have laws that uh, require licenses and limit the number of people who can participate in a fishery. Without those kind of basic regulations, uh, every fishery in the country would be destroyed uh, because there would be absolutely no uh, way to prevent uh, the number of people coming into it uh, that would cause it to collapse. So the idea that uh, market forces and regulations uh, are opposed is not strictly correct. Uh, what's happening is that good regulations, in fact, support and enhance market forces. Uh, we've seen in cat share programs on the West Coast uh, dramatic instances that this is correct. We've also seen it on the East Coast in New England, if you look closely. But in all the sort of noise among people who are not really uh, major investors in fisheries, but are more often uh, minor hangers-on, uh, have stampeded Congress to the point where uh, Congress is threatening to uh, uh, pass legislation that would uh, make investments uh, laughable. Uh, who would want to buy into an industry where Congress is going to determine uh, the number of people who work in that industry and the number of boats uh, that uh, exist in that industry? Uh, you just wouldn't do it. Why take the risk? So I'm disgusted this morning with this latest example of congressional stupidity. Uh, in Lexington, Mass., this is John Sackton.